Let's talk about reducing your food bill, specifically these three points that must be known. How to cut your grocery bill in half. How to save $500 a year on food expenses. How to eat healthy without breaking the bank. Are you tired of overspending on groceries? Do you want to learn how to save money on food without sacrificing your health? Well, look no further because I am here to teach you the ultimate guide to reducing your food bill. As an efficiency expert, I know exactly how to help you save money and eat well at the same time. By following these three simple points, you can cut your grocery bill in half and save up to $500 a year. And the best part? You won't have to compromise on the quality of your meals. So, if you're ready to start saving money and eating healthy, then let's get started. Hey there, I'm Kay Waterloo, and I'm here to talk about something that affects us all. Overspending on groceries. Let's face it, we've all been there. You go to the store for a few essentials and end up walking out with a cart full of items you didn't even need. It's time to put a stop to that and start taking control of our finances. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, I don't have the time to click coupons or plan out meals. But trust me, it's worth it. Every dollar you save on groceries is a dollar you can put towards something else. Maybe it's a family vacation or a new car. Whatever your goal may be, it's achievable with a little bit of effort and some careful planning. Let's start with promotions and discount coupons. These little pieces of paper can be a game changer when it comes to saving money. But don't waste your time clipping every coupon you see. Instead, only clip coupons for products you know you will use. It's common sense, people. And don't forget, coupons are only useful if you use them. So, make sure to keep them organized and use them before they expire. The same goes for store promotions. Don't overlook them. Take a quick look through your local grocery store flyers, newspapers, and online ads to see what's on sale. It's that simple folks. Now, let's talk about buying in bulk. Yes, the upfront cost may be a little higher, but in the end, you'll save money and time. It's like buying a roll of paper towels instead of individual sheets. And don't overlook store brands. They're often just as good as the name brand products, but at a fraction of the cost. Here's a little analogy for you. Think of your grocery bill as a leaky faucet. Every time you overspend, you're throwing money down the drain. But by making a few simple changes, like buying in bulk and using coupons, you can start to patch up that leak and save some serious cash. But wait, there's more. Meal planning is another great way to save money and time. Plan out your meals for the week and only buy the ingredients you need. This will help you avoid buying unnecessary items and reduce food waste. Plus, it's a great way to get creative in the kitchen and try out new recipes. Let me give you a personal example. I used to overspend on groceries every week. I would buy items I didn't need and end up throwing away food that went bad. But once I started planning out my meals and taking advantage of store promotions, I was able to cut my food bill down significantly. And now, I have more money in my pocket to put towards my goals. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to take control of your finances and start saving money on groceries. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar you can put towards something else. So, clip those coupons, buy in bulk, and plan out your meals. Trust me, it's worth the effort. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of my amazing supporters for helping me save money on groceries while still enjoying delicious and nutritious meals. But let's not stop there. I want you to join me on this exciting cooking journey together. Let's explore new ways to save money on groceries and cook more efficiently. Trust me, your wallet will thank you for it. So, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content. That way, we can continue to discover new ways to save money on groceries and cook better together. And don't forget to share your tips, recipes, and ideas with me for future content. I'm always looking for new ways to save money and cook more efficiently, and I'd love to hear from you. Also, I want to hear from you about what upcoming topics you want to know about. As a thank you, I promise to provide exclusive sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes access to my creative process. But let's keep things positive, folks. If you have constructive criticism, I welcome it. But let's focus on building each other up rather than tearing each other down. Thanks again for your support. Let's continue to save money cook better, and have fun doing it. Welcome back, my fellow money savers. In the first part, we talked about some basic tips for reducing your food bill, but now it's time to take things to the next level. In this section, I'll be sharing with you some more advanced strategies that will help you save even more money on your groceries. First things first, let's talk about loyalty programs. Many grocery stores offer loyalty programs that reward you for your purchases. These rewards can come in the form of discounts, coupons, or even free products. Make sure you sign up for these programs and take advantage of the rewards. But don't let the rewards trick you into buying things you don't need. Stick to your grocery list and only buy what you need. Next, let's talk about shopping around. 
Don't limit yourself to one grocery store. Take the time to compare prices between different stores in your area. You may find that one store has better deals on certain items, while another store has better deals on others. And don't be afraid to shop at discount stores like Aldi or Lidl. These stores offer quality products at lower prices than traditional grocery stores. Now, let's get into some more advanced strategies. Have you ever heard of the price per unit method? This method involves calculating the cost of a product per unit, such as per ounce or per pound, to determine which product is the best value. For example, if one brand of cereal costs $4 for a 12-ounce box and another brand costs $5 for a 16-ounce box, the price per unit for the first brand is 33 cents per ounce and the price per unit for the second brand is 31 cents per ounce. In this case, the second brand is the better value. Another advanced strategy is to buy produce that is in season. When produce is in season, it is usually less expensive and a better quality. Plus, it's a great way to try out new recipes and get creative in the kitchen. And finally, let's talk about online grocery shopping. Many grocery stores now offer online shopping and delivery services. While there may be a fee for these services, it can be worth it if it saves you time and money. Plus, you can easily compare prices and take advantage of promotions and discounts. Now, I know what you're thinking. All of these tips sound great, but how do I implement them in real life? Well, my friends, it's all about planning and preparation. Make a grocery list before you go shopping and stick to it. Take advantage of promotions and discounts, but only for items you know you will use. And when it comes to buying in bulk, make sure you have the storage space and that the product won't expire before you can use it. And here's a little analogy for you. Reducing your food bill is like going on a diet. It requires discipline and effort, but the rewards are worth it in the end. Just like how losing weight can improve your health and well-being, reducing your food bill can improve your financial health and well-being. In conclusion, by implementing these advanced strategies, you can take your food bill reduction game to the next level. Whether you're saving money for a much-needed vacation, paying off debt, or investing in your future, every dollar counts. So, start implementing these strategies today and watch your savings grow. Hey there, efficiency seekers! Are you tired of constantly overspending on groceries and throwing away unused food? Well, I've got the solution for you. My course offers all the tips, strategies, and knowledge you need to reduce your food bills without sacrificing taste or nutrition. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced cook, my course is tailored to your skill level and provides you with everything you need to save money while still enjoying delicious meals. But that's not all. By joining my mission, you can also contribute to a more sustainable and cost-effective cooking community, making a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. And if you're interested in exclusive discounts on products from some of the top brands in the space of reducing bills, keep an eye out for my future partnerships. Trust me, you won't want to miss out. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description to learn more about my course and how you can join the movement to cook more efficiently and save money. Let's do this together! Hey there, I'm back with some more advice to help you reduce your food bill and save some serious cash. In the first two parts, we covered the basics of couponing, bulk buying, and meal planning, but now it's time to take things to the next level. Let's talk about implementation. I know some of you might be wondering, okay, these tips sound great, but how do I actually make them work in real life? Well, fear not my friends, because I've got you covered. First things first, you need to be organized. Keep track of your coupons and make sure they're easily accessible when you go to the store. Create a meal plan for the week and make a list of all the ingredients you need. This will help you avoid impulse purchases and prevent food waste. Next, it's time to hit the store. Stick to your list and only buy the items you need. Don't get distracted by shiny marketing tactics or fancy packaging. Remember, your goal is to save money. And if you do come across an item that's not on your list, ask yourself if you really need it. Is it worth spending the extra cash? If not, put it back on the shelf and move on. Now, let's talk about store brands. I know some of you might be hesitant to try them, but trust me, they can be just as good as the name brand products, and at a fraction of the cost. Give them a chance and see for yourself. And if you're not satisfied, you can always switch back to the name brand products. Another tip is to stock up on items when they're on sale. But don't go overboard. Only buy what you know you'll use. And don't forget to check the expiration dates. There's no point in buying a bunch of items if they're just going to go bad before you can use them. Now, let's talk about the financial benefits of all this. Every dollar you save on groceries is a dollar you can put towards something else. Maybe it's paying off debt, investing in your future, or even just treating yourself to something nice. Whatever your goals may be, reducing your food bill is a great way to make them a reality. And if you're still not convinced, let me share a personal anecdote with you. When I first started using these tips and tricks, I was able to save over $100 a month on groceries. That's over $1,200 a year. And that's just by making a few simple changes to my shopping habits. 
Imagine what you could do with an extra $1,200 in your pocket. In conclusion, reducing your food bill is not only possible, it's easy. With a little bit of effort and some careful planning, you can save some serious cash and achieve your financial goals. So, don't wait any longer. Start implementing these tips today and see the difference it can make in your life. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar you can put towards something else. Happy shopping! Hey, my fellow money-saving warriors! I hope you've enjoyed this ride as much as I have. We've covered a lot of ground together today, and I'm thrilled to see how much we've learned about reducing our food bills without compromising on taste and nutrition. But this is just the beginning. As I mentioned earlier, I have a full course that covers all the tips, strategies, and knowledge you need to take your food budget to the next level. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting, my course is suitable for all skill levels, and you'll get access to all the insider secrets that I've spent years mastering. Check out the link below to learn more. But it's not just about the course, it's also about being part of a community that's committed to making a positive impact on the environment and our wallets. By joining my mission to reduce grocery bills, you're contributing to something much larger than yourself. And keep an eye out for some exciting partnerships I have coming up with some fantastic brands in our space. These partnerships will help you save even more without sacrificing quality or nutrition. To learn more, check out the link below. Last but not least, make sure to check out my other videos for more money-saving solutions. And don't forget to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content to show your support and be part of a smart community. Thank you for being here with me today. I can't wait to continue this journey together and see how much we can save.